What's happening folks? Welcome back to the Test Lake. Tonight we have, gosh, probably every bit of 90 degrees it seems oh, like. Oh yeah, and sunny. 100% humidity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sunny, not a cloud in the sky. Fantastic night. So tonight we are actually throwing some top water and we have this. This is the Lunker Hunt Yappa Frog. Now the Lunker, Lunker Hunt Yappa Frog, what it is is a hollow body frog with the mouth of a jitterbug. Doesn't really give me much for a description. It says, catch big fish, walks on the retrieve, um, so I guess you can run it like a jitterbug, you can pop it like a pop R, um, but it's got the cupped face and of course it's got the dual hooks and all that. So we're gonna go ahead and tie these bad boys on, fish with them, see if we can catch some fish on top water for you tonight. impressions on the Lunker Hunt Yappa Frog. I'm underwhelmed. I'm underwhelmed. That is an understatement. It's the uh, the one fish that's been caught was was not on the Yappa Frog. <laughs> but I caught it. But <laughs> they definitely don't seem interested in frogs tonight. It does have a weird retrieve too. But you um, have to reel it just right to get that retrieve as well. So yeah, if you want it to walk like a jitterbug, then you you need it to uh, you need to slow your retrieve speed down. It's finicky, it's yeah. finicky. So we're gonna try a few more spots and see if we can't find the fish. But uh, yeah, so far I'm I'm not impressed. Yeah. Sorry, Lunker Hunt, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so far I'm underwhelmed. Alright, so scorecard time with the Lunker Hunt Yappa Frog. Category one is price. Is it priced well in comparison to other products of similar nature and purpose? For all intents and purposes, this is a hollow body frog. Um, it's priced at $7.99 each. Um, that seems, uh, I mean, I guess for a, for a hollow body frog, that's probably just a touch on the high side. Um, I'm actually going to go with seven out of ten on that for the uh, the price. So seven out of ten for me on the hollow or on the uh, lunker hunt yappa yeah, frog. What about you? I'm going to go one lower. I'm going to go with six on that one. A lot of the pricing, when I scroll off pricing, it uh, kind of depends on if we catch any fish or not. And since I really didn't catch any fish with it, I don't think it's worth the price. So I'm, I'm sticking with a six on that one. Next up is function. Uh, did it perform the way that it was supposed to perform? So actually, on the package. Uh, you'll see the the diagrams that are drawn. It indicates that it's supposed to run similar to a jitterbug. Um, that's true when you're running it at the right speed. Uh, most times, I was uh, I was only able to get any sort of splashing or commotion action out of it when I was running it more like a pop bar to actually get the function that it that it's advertised to have. It's kind of delicate. So, for me, I'm going to go with another seven on the function because you can do it. Um, it's just not the easiest thing in the world to do. So, I'll follow suit with that one. Seven out of ten for me as well. It's like you said. You you really have to get at the right speed, and even then, it doesn't always work as well. So, uh, it's not like using a, a crankbait or anything like that. So, seven out of ten. 
Yeah. Uh, next up, usability. How easy is the product to use? That kind of ties back into the function of it. Um, this one's not really that user friendly. I, I, I'm sorry, Lunker Hunt. It's just not. I mean, I doubt that you guys will watch the video anyway. You know? <laughs> but um, it's not the easiest product in the world to use. It wants to turn over and ride on its back. When it does that, the cupping on the front of it will cause it to dive under the water. Um, it's just not that easy to use, really. So. Um, because of that, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 on e uh, ease of use. So, um, yeah, 5 out of 10 from me. I'll go with a 6 on that one. The only redeeming quality that it has is that it is weedless. And we, we hooked a lot of weeds tonight, and uh, it was able to get out that. So, um, yeah, it's, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> Yeah, like you said, the other one, the function and the use of it and everything kind of goes hand in hand. But um, yeah, just six out of ten. Yeah. How much um, more to say? So next up is um, durability. Did it hold up during the test? Well, I mean, yeah, it did. I mean, I caught one fish on it tonight, um, and I don't know if it's by design, but the the plastic portion of the frog slid up my line, um, and the fish only had the hooks in its mouth, which. I don't mind that. I, I don't. I, I don't mind that at all. Um, you'll tend to see that. That happens to you a lot when you're running a fluke and things like that, or if I'm running a worm, the plastic bait will slide up the line. But um, yes, yeah, so I don't mind that. Um, but I mean, as far as the looks of it, it did take kind of a beating. Some of the paint sort of chipped off. And to be fair, it is a hollow body frog. It's a soft, for all intents and purposes, it's a soft plastic lure. Um, so for that, I'm actually going to go with eight out of 10 um, because like I said, it, it is kind of high maintenance, um, but eight out of 10 on uh, durability for me. What about you? I'm going to go with the eight out of 10 on that one as well. I mean, I didn't catch many fish on it. I don't think I caught any fish on it tonight, but uh, I did catch a few, uh, few, jo few docks and a few seawalls on there and it didn't really do too much damage, but um, it, <laughs> For $7.99, I mean, it better hold up. So, 8 out of 10. All right. Last but not least, effectiveness. Um, obviously, with a name like Lunker Hunt, you would expect that you're, it's a bass lure, right? So, I did catch a bass with it. It just, it didn't, I mean, it didn't, it didn't perform the way I expected it to perform. So, um, all things collectively, I mean, I did catch a bass with it, so I'm going to give that, I'm actually going to go with 7 out of 10 on effectiveness. Maybe it's the conditions today. I doubt it. I don't know how it could be any more perfect out here. I mean, we're overcast now. The water's calm. I don't know how it could be any more perfect as far as conditions for a topwater frog, but um, yeah, so 7 out of 10 from me on effectiveness for sure. Well, I didn't catch any fish on that, so I'm going to go with a 5 out of 10. I mean, I had some... <laughs> Had some hook sets, a couple bass on there. They were decent sized ones, but uh, I mean, nothing in the boat. So yeah, I'm sorry, I just wasn't as good as I hoped it would be, especially for that price. So five out of 10. Uh, what we do from here is uh, to get the official score for it. Um, we take our two total scores combined. Each of us are able to award as many as 50 points. I'm awarding 34 out of 50 possible points pretty average uh, so 34 out of 50 possible points what about you 32 all right so we take the average of our two scores combined um, that gives us an average of 33 out of 50 possible points so not the not the result I was expecting um, but if you guys are a bigger believers in this Yappa frog then then perhaps I am or maybe Todd is uh, there will be a link in the description below uh, guys thank you so much for stopping by make sure to hit the thumbs up button let us know that you were here uh, make sure to smash subscribe for us down there as well we definitely appreciate your support on that and of course uh, guys any uh, rods reels lures uh, jigs anything you want us to use test and review we'd be more than happy to do it just let us know all right so guys thanks again for watching Watching. We're the KC Bass Guys. I'm Brandon. I'm Todd. Y'all have a good one.